how's it going everybody welcome back to Preston Outdoors video as you can tell we're actually out on the ice today um, and as you can see behind me there is trees so you definitely know we're not North Dakota we're up here in northern Minnesota chasing after the elusive burbot Connor from CC Outdoors and my buddy Levi Nix you guys have seen him on the channel before we're out here gonna try and chase Burbot. Never caught one in my life, never targeted one. I don't even know if I've ever had one even look at one of my hooks. We're out here. It's a little bit early, end of February here, uh, early for that burbot spawn that everybody really likes to target them. Only chance we really had to get out here. Um, and we're going to get out here and see if we can catch some of these elusive things. <laughs> Allegedly, this is the juice out here. Huh? Big old pout spoon, I guess you call it. Don't know the size, but this thing is big. We're gonna hole hop here for a little bit. Kind of got a little bit of a flat going on, weeds, all that kind of stuff, and then we're gonna set up in the house here in the evening time. So let's get after it. There's like two or three. Oh fish my god, he's all over it. Please eat it. Oh, oh, it eats, and there's one on you, dude. Oh, I'm on the bottom now. Try it. Raise up. He's on it. He's on it. Okay. Oh. Was he on? Yeah. He was, oh, no. He was just like this, moving it around. Was he? Yep, and my rod got heavy. I shouldn't have set the hook. I shouldn't have set the hook, should I have? <laughs> should I have not set the hook? No, yeah, not that early. Oh. So you got to let him swim away with it. Yeah, well, I mean, once you, once you feel... Because I felt, it felt like he was... Just playing pack, with it, like, no, like, pinch the bottom, right? And it kind of got heavy, yeah. So, I gotta let him swim away with it, just a little bit, yeah. A few moments later, oh, it's a bout, he's freaking rolling. Oh, yeah, he's a nice one, too. You just lower, don't force him at the moment. You lower your drag, or you no, he's good. He's slippery. Yes! You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Let's go! Yes! Dude. There you go, boys. There's your fault. Are you kidding me? That a boy. Don't mind me, folks. Just touching Connor's fish. Oh, it's so slimy. Oh, what the heck? He's doing a 360. <laughs> Did a 360 in my hand, dude. That is awesome. I cannot tell you the way it feels in my hands right now. Look, it's spinning in your hands. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's sick. He's alive. Look at that belly, ladies and gentlemen. If we had a five-gallon bucket, we could put him in there. We don't. Look at that. And they say they're really good to eat, so we're gonna keep this one yeah, we can that and one see right. how he's gonna taste. But now it's my turn and Levi's turn to try and get one. Look at this thing. No, really? I could just sit here. You know how a kid plays with minnows in the minnow bucket? I could just sit here and play with this thing. <laughs> that is sick. On the spoon. Yeah. Oh my gosh! That was awesome. That boy, it's probably the cleanest burbot release I've ever oh, seen. For sure. <laughs> All right, as you can tell, we're not on the ice anymore. And what we're gonna do now is, I told you before, we've heard that eel pout burbot link cod, whatever you call it, tastes good. So the one that Connor got, you guys saw on film is right here we're gonna clean it up and we're gonna try it we also got a bunch what did you got levi crappies and walleye crappies and walleyes in there crappies and walleyes that levi took out we're gonna make a bunch of fish here tonight and then we're gonna get back out fishing tomorrow so a little bit of catch and cook action and our first reaction levi's had it before burbot but uh connor the official camera guy 
has not had it before, so we're going to try it and see if it's all the hype or if it's just drunk people being dumb. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll get you in a little bit. All right, well, we're going to get that bourbon cleaned up here. We're going to get a little fish marinated. Connor actually turned me on to this uh, recipe, just Frank's Red Hot Sauce. We got some walleyes and crappies that Levi had taken out of the freezer before we got here. Dump some of this in here. And we're going to let it sit. I don't know how long this is going to take us, but the longer you let it sit in the bag, the hotter it will get and the more flavor it takes on. Set like this. And by the time we get that sucker clean, these will be ready to go and we'll drop them in all at the same time. Kind of have perch, or excuse me, crappies, walleyes, and the bird all at the same time. Excuse the fact that Ethan's using a regular steak knife because we do not have a manual foil knife. And taking my time because I don't want to mess with So the eel pile's cleaned, got it cubed up. We got seven up here. We're gonna get it boiling. And then I'm gonna drop a full stick of butter and some garlic salt in this bowl. Literally once that drops in there, it's gonna cook really, really quick. Gonna float to the top. We're gonna take it out, let it cool a little bit. You still want it hot, allegedly. Dip it in the garlic and butter down the hatch. Two to three minutes, doesn't take very long. They'll start floating. We'll get them on the plate here. We're gonna let those ones cool. We got a stick of butter and some garlic salt to taste here. Let them cool, dip them in, then we're gonna try it. All right, so I guess I'm starting since I caught the fish. Um, gonna give it a little taste test here. Dip it in some garlic butter. That's great. I've heard very, Good stuff, boys. very mixed things about this. Um, people either love it or hate it, and I love it. So when we were cleaning it, Levi even mentioned that it's like a tough, a tough uh, meat or whatever. You even run into the flay knife to it. You boil it in that, it like melts in your mouth. My goodness, that is awesome. Yeah, we need you to get some more. You would honestly probably just eat that like without the butter. Oh yeah. I mean I'll, the butter is just as good. I'll try it. But like without the Dude, butter. Dude, it's sweet like the, the Seven Up. Yeah, That's what I'm saying. That seven up like you can taste this. You can taste the the citrusy from the Seven Up in it without with without the butter. You or not, butter's good. Everybody loves melted butter. All right. So all right, plate. <laughs> All right, and uh, now that we just polished off a full burbot in about uh, 10 <laughs> seconds, we are going to throw some walleyes and crappies in the frying pan. Let's get it. So what we're going to do with the Frank's Red Hot, again, like I said, if you let it sit, the spicier it'll get. I use flour, or if you have some shore lunch, that'll definitely work too. I don't have any right now. So we're gonna kind of do like a little Cajun mix. I got some Wild Willie's GSP Fuego. And we're gonna put some of that in here to taste. When you're cooking fish or anything else, put it a little bit saltier or spicier than what you preferably think. Because once you cook it down, you're gonna lose some of that heat. So a lot of times you go to try your batter or you think, man, that's enough. And then all of a sudden you go to eat it, and you're like, man, it's lacking some flavor. So I kind of over seasoned it a little bit. Yeah, definitely needs a lot more. Get that super spicy or just above your threshold of spice, and when it cooks down, it'll knock it off a little bit, and it'll be perfect. So we're gonna test this here. We're gonna get the fillets out of the bag. Since it's in the Frank's Red Hot, I don't need an egg wash or anything. I'm literally gonna just drop them in here, coat them, drop in the oil with a little bit of butter. tried it the way Ethan cooks it so uh, yeah we'll get a couple initial reactions to it. Cheers. Oh.
That's fresh Salvador special right there. Got the uh, wild still, uh, garlic salt. Oh, it's the fuego. Yeah, whatever the it fiery is. Fiery one. Freaking... This stuff here? No. Whatever it is, very good. Wow. Wow! God, it's phenomenal! Oh, man. Mom, I did it! That's, that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's unreal. Like, that, that might be better than the old-fashioned... It might be better than the old-fashioned short lunch. I like it. I like a little heat to it. It's got the little kick, but it's not a lot of kick. It's enough kick to make you come back for the second, third, fourth, the and third one, third plate. So as you can tell, Levi is uh, dumbfounded by it, how good it is. It's just like everybody the first time they had it. Uh, oh. No, when you told me to try it, really good, and then I just played with the recipe a little bit. And, but uh, Love it. Yeah, I think we're going to oh, eat some fish, go to bed, and hit some bourbon in the morning. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. Later. Later.